Well, this isn't gonna do. Ready? Much better. I don't think Bjorn understands the uh, concept of room tone. Hi. What is it? Oh, shit. One of my uh, sound baffles came off of the ceiling. So I need to glue that back on. Okay, let's go. So tonight, I am going to Santa Monica Pier because I have yet to actually go into full manual mode, like with the settings, log format, and all of that. I've yet to do any of that on my DJI Mini 3 Pro as of yet. So far, all I have been doing is normal mode, full auto 4K60. Like, that's it. And it's been great, but I want more controllability, especially if I am in fact going to be trying my hand at attempting to be a drone pilot, I need to be able to do all of these things. Make sense? Yeah, I think so. And it actually turned out that I had two baffles that fell. So let me take care of the other one real quick, okay? Okay, that's been taken care of. Now, let me get my drone. Let's make sure I have everything. Two batteries, controller, extra everything just in case. So let me just turn all of this off and let's go. What you do Okay, just got back. There were a lot more dangerous folks out tonight than normal out in Santa Monica, and I was gonna have my hands full with you know, backpack, camera, tripod, drone, like there was just too much going on that I was not gonna be able to control. So I just thought it was best if I just took my drone out. You know, cause for safety, but whatever. I did bring back plenty of footage. And this first one, I just went straight away on half second exposures for this nine shot panorama. It honestly surprised me how well low light did in this scenario because the ISO, I kept it at, I believe 100 or 200, so still pretty low uh, with a half second shot and straight out almost no grain, so it was great. But these next two shots are a little different. So I did the hyperlapse function and between these two shots, there are only two things that are different between them apart from the starting point. One is the direction. One was going counterclockwise, one was going clockwise. The other, the speed of the drone. So on one of them, I had the speed at like 0.4 or 0.5, so super slow. And the other one had the speed at, I believe, two meters per second. So much quicker. So that's why even though they are the exact same interval and the exact same amount of time, one does not have a lot of, you know, start to end finishing movement in terms of the actual distance traveled, whereas the other four meters in between every single shot, that is, a massive difference. And you can see that with how everything moves. Now, this last uh, photo here is an actual, just another still. I just went straight camera settings, regular photo, landscape four by three, and I did a two second exposure. Now the problem that I have with the DJI camera is that the two second exposure is the longest that you can have the shutter open for. I don't like that whatsoever. I honestly wish that there was a way, maybe in a future update, that uh, instead of two second, it could be five second or maybe even longer because two second is cool, but I mean, we can't really get like a nice soft mirage on a lake or a bed of water. And this is proof. This is two seconds. You see it in the reflection 
of the pier lights on the Santa Monica Pier. We do still see, you know, a lot of shape in that wave coming in. Not so much crispness because, you know, the shutter was open for two seconds. That's a long time in terms of water movement for there to be movement, especially from a wave, but you can tell it's a wave and that causes the differentiation in the light coming into the sensor and how it's being perceived to create the image at the end. So it's it's a massive difference. And the two seconds, you know, it did a great job. And there's, once again, no noise. And that's fantastic. I kept that at, I think, ISO 100 or 200. That's, fit, that's absolutely great, considering how tiny this sensor is. That's my only gripe. I need that longer. Two seconds, DJI, that's not enough. Now, the one difference between tonight's video files and so far what I've done over the past couple days already is that I went to uh, D Cinelink. D Cinelink. Is it Cinelink or Cinelike? I read the word like four times, and honestly, I've read Link and Like so many times in the past week. So we're, we're gonna call it both. <laughs> The Mini 3 D Cine something is not really a full log. So coming out of the camera, it still doesn't look bad, but I did already notice before even grading these, and you can see this right out of the camera. These are ungraded. I can already tell that these are 10-bit color, and that's the biggest difference between the D Cine Link or Cine Like, whatever it is, versus the normal codec is that in the log format, it's 10 bit color. That's a huge difference. And I was not expecting to be able to see it so clearly straight out of the drone. And because of that, I am really looking forward to pushing that envelope of what this 10 bit color can do from such a tiny, little sensor. This was really interesting for me to find out. As always, guys, if this is your first time watching me, watching anything from my channel, please do not subscribe. But if this is not your first time watching me, please feel free to hit that subscribe button because that is telling both you and me that this, we got something real. So I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you on the next one.